welcome my dear students hope you all are safe today we are going to do question 5 and 6 of maths worksheet at page 119 it's a simple division hope you will enjoy doing it with me so let's start i am having five 1 rupee notes and i want to distribute these five rupees equally among five teddies or we can say five students so i am giving them so i have left with none five rupees has been equally divided among five students and it's clear that each student got 1 rupee so 5 divided by 5 we get One. The answer is one. We conclude that if we divide any digit by the same digit, we get answer is equal to one. Let's take more examples. Two divided by same number two, we get one. Thirty-two divided by thirty-two, the answer is one. Now let's do question 5th of the worksheet fill in the blanks part 1 by dividing 15 with the same number 15 we get an answer yes 1 Now next part with which digit should we divide 32 to get an answer 1 Yes we will divide 32 with the same number 32 to get an answer 1 okay now these two students want to take out pencils from this geometry box let's open it oh but it's empty there is no pencil in the pencil box or we can say that there is zero pencil in the box so the students can't get any pencils now we get to know that when we divide zero by another number the answer is always zero for example if we divide zero by 2 the answer will be zero let's take another example If we divide 0 by 42 then also the answer will be 0 Moving on to next part part 3 of question 5 by dividing 0 with 20 which answer will get Yes will get an answer 0 All right Now part 4 With which number should we divide 42 to get an answer 0 Yes here this part is missing we have to fill up the blanks Yes we will divide 42 with 0 again All right now part 5 We have to divide 18 by Three. For this question, we'll read the table of three till we get an answer. Eighteen. So start with me. Three zeros are zero. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. Three threes are nine. Three fours are twelve. Three fives are fifteen. Three six are eighteen. So we read up to six. Three. Six are eighteen. So by dividing eighteen with three, we get an answer six. Now let's do question six. Divide first part forty-eight divided by three. Let's see the procedure. Now let's take an example. Suppose we have. 48 rupees 
we have to distribute these 48 rupees among three students now first of all i'm going to give 10 rupees each each student got rupees 10 so out of 48 we have distributed 10 plus 10 plus 10 that is 30 rupees or we can say 10 threes are 30 by subtracting 30 from 48 we are left with 18 rupees now from these 18 rupees I am again giving 5 rupees to each student 5 plus 5 plus 5 I gave 15 more or 5 threes are 15 by subtracting 15 from 18 rupees we are left with 3 rupees more so we have to divide these left 3 rupees to the students so I am giving 1 rupee to each student 1 plus 1 plus 1 I gave 3 more rupees to 3 students or we can say 1 threes are 3 out of the left 3 rupees I gave 3 rupees to the students now I am left with 0 rupees so can you tell me how many rupees did each student get yes I know you got the answer 10 plus 5 plus 1 10 plus 5 plus 1 total 16 rupees so by dividing 48 by 3 we get the answer 16 Now students, we have discussed all these questions. Of question 6, we have done first part by giving an example. Try solving the other two in your notebooks. This is your homework. Do question 5 and question 6 of maths worksheet in your notebooks. That's all for today. Do your homework. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.